today's video, I'm going to attach a uh, NFS mount to a Raspberry Pi. And NFS is a network file system. Um, I have an NFS server running on a Western Digital NAS network attached storage. So that's going to be the service. And I'm going to mount that to a Raspberry Pi. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to um, show you how I'm going to configure the, um, the NAS to turn on the NFS uh, server and it's gonna be different depending on what you're using as your server you could you could run an NFS server off a Raspberry Pi or um, I don't know a lot of different um, operating systems you could do that off of but I've got this NAS so I'm gonna turn it on through this its web interface if I type the right password Let's see Okay. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to the way you do it on here, you go to settings, network. Okay, and then you turn NFS service on. So this one's <laughs> this one's actually really easy. And then you have to go to shares, and then so you could set up uh, which share points, or these are like directories. Um, that you want to sh <clears throat> share through the NFS so I'm gonna do public and so you just go here and turn NFS access on you can do configure so I'm gonna set up where any host can connect and I'm going to allow write otherwise it's it's read-only okay and then I just hit apply okay and then so it tells you what the mount point is um, and so remember this is for public. You could do it for other other shares you create. I'm just gonna do it for public for this one. And so we're gonna use this when we log on to the Raspberry Pi. Well, yeah, the the IP address and then the mount point uh, NFS slash public. Okay, so now I'm logged on to the Raspberry Pi and I'm gonna set up the mount point for the, the NFS. So to do that I'm going to do sudo uh, make make beer and I'm going to mount mine off of um, the slash SRV and I'm going to call it public okay so you just create that directory I'm going to go ahead and open the permissions up the, the real permissions are going to be set by the NFS server um, okay so let's see so public make sure it's there okay um, so from here, I could just mount it right now. So um, to do that, you would, as root, uh, run the mount command, and then I give the IP address of the NAS, so it's 192.168.1.3, you do colon, and then you give it the mount directory. So recall, that was slash NFS slash public. And over there, it was, oh, the P was uppercase. Okay, and then you give it where you want to mount it to, and that's going to be to the directory I just created. Okay, and so we we'll just mount that. Okay, so now if we look at the directory listing of that, um, so on, under the public share on that NAS, um, I have Dropbox, movies, shared music, shared pictures, and video. So this would be one way you could do it. It's just um, mount it as you need it but it's better or for me anyway I want to mount it um, on boot up okay so let me, let me unmount it okay okay so to do that you want to edit the etc.fs tab okay and fair warning this doesn't this does not work on the Raspberry Pi, but this is how you would normally do it. It doesn't work on the Raspberry Pi for me because on boot up the uh, it tries to mount this drive before the network um, interface is running. So I'm using a Wi-Fi dongle, so it hasn't connected to the network yet, so it can't connect it. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you would how you do that anyway. So look, of course you gotta edit it. So I'm gonna yeah vi that. Okay, so these are the disks. So you want to create a new entry for the NAS. Um, 
Okay, so it's going to be similar to the mount command. So you give it the 0.1.3 colon slash nfs slash public. Okay. And then um, you give it where you're mounting it to again. So again, that's slash srv slash public. And then the type of mount, so that's nfs. And I'm just going to use defaults. Uh, and then save that okay and then I'm gonna reboot and I'm gonna show you um, what happens why this doesn't work then I'm gonna show you another way to get around this or work around okay so, so we'll just shut down let me just stop the video and then I'm gonna reboot okay so I'm rebooting and so what's going to happen it's going to when it reads that fs tab file it's going to try to connect to that nfs drive but like i said the the network interface isn't up yet so it's going to just when it gets to it right here okay starting nfs common utilities stat d uh, id map d it's going to wait here and wait and wait um it's eventually going to time out and error out and it's not going to mount that drive so um so what I'm going to do is show you a workaround for that. For that, you might get it to work if you're using uh, Ethernet. I didn't try that. It, for the Wi-Fi interface, like I said, it's it's not up yet, so it, it can't mount it. Okay, so um, log back in to the Raspberry Pi, and so the first thing I want to do is remove that entry uh, from the FS tab file. So I'm just going to delete it. Okay. Okay, so then what I'm going to do then for the workaround, there's another file in etc called rc.local. And so this will run any commands or scripts on boot up. So I'm just going to go down. Oh, I'm going to do that, but okay. So here is is where I'm just going to run that mount command. You don't have to sudo this because this this is going to run as root on boot up. Okay, so it's it's the same mount command we ran before. So I'm going to the one six eight point one point three colon slash uh, nf, nfs slash public. I'm going to mount that to SRV public. Okay. Okay, so um, now I'm going to reboot and then show you that the mount, uh, the NFS does get mounted on um, on boot up. Okay, so I'm logged back into the Raspberry Pi now, and so I can show you that with that change to the rc.local file, um, it does get mounted on boot up, and it's it's kind of a clunky uh, workaround. Um, if anyone, if anyone has had success getting the the proper way to do it using FS Tab using a ra Raspberry Pi, uh, please leave a, a comment. Um, but anyway, this this will work, and it's like I said, it's kind of kludgy, but um, it's not that bad. So now that uh, now that that's mounted, it's just um, it's just a part you know of your file system, so you can run things like. So if you have like movies on there, OMX player, uh, let's see, um, I'm not going to really run this. So you could just um, stream, uh, stream videos, stream music from over NFS. Um, it's pretty good speed. I haven't had much issues with it. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for watching the video.